Okay, the Meyer 10XA box. The variable voltage. You're only going to go maximum of 12 volts. Switch it on. The light comes on when it's on. You got a fuse. Here's the volt meter, the amp meter. This is power out. These are the same alternators that Meyer used. These are Ford, the old style Ford alternator. They're pretty big. Here's my hand. It's a big bowling ball. You can see there's diodes inside. That's a full wave bridge rectifier for three phase. There's six of them. They're just diodes. This is power out. This is your ground. These two excite the field in the rotor. What's a rotor? This is a rotor. Also called an armature. There's two rings here. There's a brush that goes on each ring. You got a bearing here. Obviously, you got a V belt that spins the rotor. Positive and negative. It doesn't really matter which one's positive, which one's negative. There's a coil of wire inside. It makes this side positive, this side negative. So the fingers are positive, negative, positive, negative, on around. This whole finger network will be positive or negative, and the other side will be positive and negative. One will be positive, one will be negative. It's just an electromagnet. If you put more than 6 to 12 volts, you're going to melt the wire inside the coil. This is, what is that? Stator. Stator. Thank you, Frank. Got Frank over here. Electrical engineer. This is the stator. The stator is three phases. One, two, three, obviously. You can see the diode connections back in there that's a capacitor you don't want the capacitor you don't want the voltage regulator these are brushes the brushes contact with the rings you don't want this wire to the regulator any kind of regulation or self exciting I think that's on this alternator this is just a self exciter most alternators nowadays have regulators built in so you clip that wire you clip the capacitor wire these two wires are now isolated from the alternator they only go to the rotor here's the rotor these two wires go to these connections on the rotary pulse generator here's the back Here's the front. The one paper says a deregulated alternator. That's all it says. That is all it says. A deregulated alternator. The Meyer 10XA box. We have a, a handheld voltmeter just to check it. We have amp meter. One, two, three, four, five, of course. 
voltmeter, which is way too big for 5 volts that we want to see. We can adjust the voltage. And we have the rotor for the alternator. Here's the stator. Here's the rotor. There's two solder connections. And we have a Gauss meter. Power on. 4.3 volts. 2 amps. The magnetic field. The magnetic field from the rotor goes into the stator to induce a voltage. Again, this is the Meyer 10XA circuit. 5 volts roughly. 2 amps. 5 volts on the big meter. Get the power on neon bulb. Got the Meyer alternator. One part of the paperwork and patent says deregulated alternator. An ordinary alternator. And there it is.